Greg and welcome to Rick's Kids. Here we are with a update on the 125th America in France, Mary Chief 1000. Uh, just this week, it's taken me a few days to do it, but I've managed to get the paint off the cab. Um, majority of it anyway, there's still a few little bits and pieces which need rubbing down. Um, I've given it a fine coat of primer at the moment but that's just to see if there's any other imperfections that are on there um i have put some super glue across the top of here to fill in any holes you know where these old light clusters were on the top um, same on this side fill that one up there was a couple of nicks in the plastic here and here so they've been filled in. Uh, I need to get in and get all this old glue out where the lighting bezels and stuff were. Also down here in the uh, fenders, or wheel arches as we call them. Um, a bit of hard glue in that in there, so I've got to get that out as well. And, um, she's quite clean. Can't really see any other in indications of any sort of. Uh, body lines or panel um I need to get rid of a couple of body lines um apart from my vision around corner my seam lines as we call them over here in the uk i uh, managed to get rid of all those but that's the cab the cab's at least getting somewhere uh, i've got a few little bits down here in front of me which i'll explain about those in a moment um also been dechroming and a lot of stuff um windshield had was it enamel gloss over the top of it so i've managed to get that off um i think the deformity in the plastic is where it was built or sorry manufactured and that would that would probably take a little bit of a buff up it's come out nice and clean so i'm pleased that finish that is clear all right we dechromed the um bottom part of the cab that was the piece which goes here uh, probably not that way around but it goes there been dechromed we've got all all these foot plates dechromed all the headlight areas declined uh, we've taken all the paint or most of the paint off of the turntable is still a little bit of stubborn and enamel here come off but we've been dechroming now during the dechroming process there's still a little bit left on the side of here the little eagle that sits on the top there is now in two pieces um it didn't survive the process i do have it here I do have it here in a couple of little pieces um i'll give it a go trying to put it back together if not i do have another um american la france pumper uh, sorry not pumper ladder chief that i can uh, we go out of just to get this thing back up and running and then we we can um buy another 3d mold another one i don't know that's where that is the other thing we were doing this week is working on the platform boom um i have uh, stripped all the pins out as you can see here so we can get a better, better connection because some of these were absolutely ruined um the one at the top up here where the platform goes on and uh, that pin was broken in two pieces so i've had to make a new one for the whole platform um to also incorporate these um 
like half gears. So that, that in that will go through there, incorporate that, and be not that end. Get it right. We'll incorporate. Jesus Christ. Blasphemy. Those of you who are religious. Uh, it will go into there. That's that. I have drilled the other pin to bring this end out. Because that was, again, was broken in pieces. That goes down the opposite end of the boom. Into that end there. Where those two connect. Uh, we're missing pieces off this end. Um, weren't on there, weren't, weren't glued on there very well, didn't quite match up on the boom, so I've had to. One moment, <laughs> me, I've had to take them off. Um, fractured a piece of the plastic on the end there, but lucky enough, I've managed to hold it on. You can see all the dirty old glue. Uh, on the bottom here, um, still got to clean all that off. So we're almost close to putting um, this part of the boom back together, um, and then we we'll see this. I say obviously, some for those who don't know, um, this will then get glued onto there. Once this is painted up in white like the rest of it and red on the bottom here get its control um, booth put back on there um, and then get this pin <laughs> and we we'll get the pins made up to uh, reattach the piston into this end so the boom can break that way. Um, so that's that's what I'm looking to try and do this week. Coming, so yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, as the body goes, let's just remove that so I don't use it. As the body goes, uh, I don't have a. So I should. Put that down before I start talking, otherwise it makes too much noise. Right. As far as the body goes, I don't have a big enough uh, tray to put the whole thing in to strip it down. So I intend to put it down with uh, some sandpaper or grip paper. Or I don't know what you really want to call it. Folks, your boat. Um, so I intend to rub it down as best I can. Remember, respray it with the uh, plastic coat um, enamel that I'm going to put on here. Um, and then respray the whole thing, including the checker plate. Now, the checker plate is going to stay on the body. If I pull it apart, I know I'm going to fracture the checker plate and I don't have a replacement and I don't want to have uh, um, unseemly broken glue, glue lines showing through on this kit. I want to try and get it as so I can back to how my father had it originally before he, he pulled it apart. As far as the checker plate is concerned, slightly going off track is I will mask off all the red that is one option and spray it silver second option is to go with um, the metal foil I know this is chrome but I don't have anything else well, my third option is to go with um, this sticky back plastic which has a texture 
uh, like steel plate um, and put that down over the top of the over the top of the kit so um, the only one I'm going to find out is that works or if they look any good in the in the, in the um, box there's some spare um, checker plate stuff so what I'll do with that is I will do some practice pieces just with the two adhesive types I don't know if I, I don't need to practice spraying down the silver paint uh, and see how it looks if it goes down okay and look I think it looks okay with the chrome then I'll use that if not I'll try the checker play if it, um, the big bit of plastic if that doesn't look any good then I'll just have to revert back to the original spraying and uh, yeah, that goes. I um, think where I am at this moment in this week, I've got a lot to work due to the on this over the weekends. Get those ideas for interpretation. So I'm going to call it here. I, you know, I'm sorry there's not much more done than than uh, what's what just shown you on the table. So thank you for watching. Thank you to my subscribers. I appreciate you. Thank you to my new subscribers, because I know you're coming at some point. Um, if you have any comments, bleep bleep them down below. Okay, so wherever in, you are in the world, stay safe, be happy, and happy modelling. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.